We relocated our bees here to my parents' place in country Victoria last night. So we had to close up the front with that little long stick you see at the entrance. And then we strapped the hives up and brought them here in the dark and set them up. You can see they're on a slight angle because we had issues before with rain getting inside the hive and causing mould. So we always set them at a slight downward angle now to allow for moisture to run out and the bees seem to adapt to that quite happily. Just to be on the safe side we've put some branches in the front so the bees absolutely know that they're somewhere different when they come out. Normally that's something you only have to do when you move them a very short distance. The old American or Imperial um, three, moves them three foot or three miles. That's the idea that you can move beehives short distances less than three feet or one meter in our terminology in australia or three miles which what's that 1.5 kilometers or something anyhow you can move this they've been moved hundreds of kilometers overnight so they should automatically reset but to be on the safe side we didn't want lost bees out here so we put the branches in front so when they come out they know hmm, something's really different we reset our little gps's and at the moment they're doing lots of exploratory flights to figure out where they are. That's why they're kind of zooming all around and not going in any one direction as yet because they're orienting themselves. And here they have yellow box and grey box, which of course yellow box makes spectacular honey. And the amazing flowers of my mum's garden. So they're going to be very happy bees indeed. So this is the little beehive door that John made and you can see he's drilled little ventilation holes that are too small for bees to get in and out of but it just supplies a bit of added ventilation when they're locked in for their transit. And here you can see bees. There were already feral bees in this garden as well as native bees. So you can see bees exploring the salvias and the many other plants, the gerantas, the late flowering geranta or pigeon berry, which I also have in my garden in Melbourne. So they'll be recognizing that if they're my bees that have already got down here. So this is a garden full of flowers. So they're gonna have a fantastic time. And here they are harvesting pollen. They love it.